he's definitely in range. Here we go. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is the Hunter DD33. Today, we're gonna be testing out the 20 gauge loaded with slugs. Now the first thing we wanna do before we try something we've never done before is head over to the target range. So that's what we're gonna do. Head over to the target range and see how this actually does shoot. So it just so happens that we have a four wheeler here and we're gonna jump on it and head over to the target range. We haven't really been doing too much riding on the four wheeler so I figured what better way to get to the target range than jump on the ATV and head over there. Now, if you don't know where the target range is, it's actually over by Rathenfelt. And I'll show you where it's at in a second here. But I'm really trying to concentrate on driving because apparently I'm not too great at driving this thing. Also, oh, right there, roe deer. This is a really good spot for a roe and apparently fox. Oh, 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 almost just had that fox on the run. Oh, there's a roe right there. Oh, I really wanted to get that fox. Come on, where did it go? This is a really good spot too for real. Which you just saw. All right, so here's the target range. We're just approaching it right now. We are flying in here actually. There it goes. Oh, is it on fire? I mean, I don't think it hit too hard. No, we're good. All good. All right, let's go over here. First, I'll show you where it's at. So right over here is Rathenfelt. And what you want to do is just basically head along this uh, dead end road here. You won't have an icon here at first. So just head this direction and you'll have to unlock it. And once you unlock it, then you'll be able to just head here whenever you want. Um, so just fast travel to Rathenfelt Outpost and head to the east there. This is where it's at. It's on the bottom right corner of the map on Hirschfelden. All right, so let's head to the target range here. Actually, we do have some targets set up already and they're set up at 50 yards exactly. So let's reset this. So I think we're gonna go prone just to get our best shot and we don't wobble too much that way. And we'll use just the tip and see where we hit. Wow, okay, so it actually shoots pretty high. We're zeroed in for 27 and uh, this target is actually 50 and we're shooting high with the bottom of the tip of the sight. But you can see how at that distance, 50 yards, if you aim on the heart, you're pretty much gonna hit spine lung. So you really wanna aim almost on the bottom of the heart to be able to make a perfect shot like we just did. Also, the good thing about the range is you don't have to reload your shotgun. It just stays reloaded all the time, which is pretty cool. So you can just literally just keep on blasting shots and it doesn't reload. Perfect shot. All right, so you can see even though we're zeroed in for 27 yards, it still shoots high. Now, you can zero in for 54 and see what happens as well. It doesn't really change anything. It's pretty much exactly the same. Exactly the same. That one shot pretty high. Yep. All you gotta do is aim low. But well, you can see just how low you actually have to aim. All right, so now we know where the 20 gauge shoots with slugs at 50 yards. We're gonna have to hold low and let's go try it out on some road deer. Here we go. Only we can stay on the road. Oh boy, coming to a sharp end here. Holy, the road completely ends. At least the driving road. I mean, there's still sort of a road here, I guess. Not really. Wow, really go a long ways with this thing. Oh, just missed that tree. Now, right now we're just looking for some tracks on the ground. See if we can't find any road deer tracks. Oh, that was a close one. Almost just flipped it. Doesn't look like there are any tracks here. So we're out on the other end of uh, where the shooting range is. And I was hoping there might be some tracks or some animals here, but I don't think there is any. I just wanted to double check to make sure that there wasn't any around. And yeah, it looks like there's no animals around on this point. 
This is not a road. Oh boy, going through some water. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it didn't blow up. Oh, we crashed right into a tree. But yeah, let's uh, check where we're at here quick. So we're all the way down on this point. We drove all the way down this road and basically checked this whole area. No tracks, no anything. So I don't know if anything can get past this road here. And uh, that's good to know. I know there's tons of row here. So I think we're going to go over here and try and put out some calls and see if we can't lure in some rows. That's pretty cool, actually. Whoa. Look out. Go oh, wrong way. Holy. Oh. <laughs> we just crashed into this huge boulder. Wow. That wasn't good. Put some major damage on our ATV. Alright, well there should be some real around here. So I don't really want to scare everything. Let's hop off. Oh, I hear one! There it is, there it is! There she is. Hold still, come on. <laughs> Put her right down! On the trot as she was coming in. We let her just a little bit. She walked right into it. And that 20 gauge slug definitely did a number on her. Let's go over here and go check. See what her consecutive harvest is at. And also see what our integrity bonus is going to be at from that. 40%. Oh. 40% only you get with the slugs. That's interesting. Considering this is actually a level 2 weapon. And so is a 243. So you would think you would be able to get 100%. But apparently not. All right, we got a red deer right there. Looks like a nice one. Oh, giant, eight mythical. 50 yards away. We're gonna try and take him with the 20 gauge slugs. This is gonna be interesting, guys. Gotta slow him down a little bit. We do have the collar on us. And you know how accurate this shoots at 50 yards. Come on, stop. He's definitely in range. Here we go. Oh, I think we missed. I think we actually shot high. Isn't that something? 60 yards and we held it pretty much right for the center of the lung and we shot high. That's a major choke. You would think we would at least hit it though. Wait. Oh, no. Thought I saw a sign that we might have hidden it. All right, well, after missing that first shot, we just ended up sneaking up within, uh, I think it was like 40 yards away from the stag. And unfortunately, I forgot to hit record. <laughs> and I went up to him. Luckily, I just noticed it before I picked him up. I mean, it's still unfortunate that we didn't get to see the shot, but it did go down with 20 gauge and it was probably 40 yards away. So anyways, I'm sorry about that, but at least you can see him here. He is a mythical and at least he's not a diamond. If it was a diamond, I'd probably cry right now. But yeah, he's an awesome eight mythical. So we'll take a really cool picture of him and let's pick him up and see what the 20 gauge slug actually did to him. We did make a spine shot. He was gold. The shot was 51 yards away. And actually, he was kind of angling just like this. And I held it right on the lower part of the lung. And it looks like it raised up probably six inches, which, as you can see, look how high it actually does shoot. So we were going for a double lung and ended up catching spine. So still a perfect shot. He scores 211 and total score 883. Luckily, like I said, he's not a giant diamond um red deer but he is a i mean he is a monster but he's definitely not a diamond so again i, I just i can't believe i forgot to record i guess because i was kind of embarrassed because that first shot missed at pretty much 60 yards the same same distance basically luckily i spotted him again and just forgot to hit record but anyways here he is down here and the fact that you can get 100 percent with the 20 gauge slug on a big red deer like this that's uh, pretty awesome Look at all the cash we got as well. 1,394 cash for that and 258 XP. He was a huge gold red deer. But just look at the trophy shot mode of this. This is so cool. I'm glad that they finally implemented something that's sort of 
uh, similar to a trophy shot. And I mean, at least we have something now. It's not the greatest, but it is something. Wow, I, I still can't believe I didn't hit record. But um, anyways, that's an awesome red deer. And let's try and find something else. All right, we just found a herd of bedded fallow deer. And it looks like they're all females. And they're about 60 yards out. So pretty much perfect for taking a shot with a 20 gauge. I'm not sure what the percentage for integrity is going to be on them. But they're all just females anyways. I don't see any big males. I don't even see any males actually. So I think we're going to take a shot on this one here. at 67 yards out. We're laying prone on top of this rock. Let's see what we can do. You can see we held it pretty much right on the heart. And it looks like it was a perfect shot. She dropped right there. All right, we have another one here at 86 yards out. She's pretty much facing right at us, but we could definitely take a, a vital hit from this angle. So let's see what happens. Uh, looked like a good hit. Let's see if we can find her. Is that her? I uh, can't tell which one would be her. Oh, there she is, 50% health. Very curious to see what's going to happen with the percentage on this one. Will she go down or will she just disappear? Oh, this one's broadsided at 105 here. Can I see it though? Don't think so. No. Well. Just took a shot on that one. Uh, it looks like they're all bolting. I don't really feel like wounding anymore. <laughs> Just hammered that one. Got two hits into her. All right, so there should be three down over here. For sure two, maybe three. And I'm really curious what the integrity bonus is going to be like on these. 40%. That's what I was thinking. 40%. This was a 68-yard shot. And look how high we hit. Holy, this thing shoots high. We were holding for pretty much the bottom of the lung and just barely hit the spine on that thing. Let's check over here to see if we hit that one or not. Yeah, maybe. No, I don't think so because this is the one that we hit from before. Let's pick this one up. Holy look how high we hit that was an 88 yard shot and we barely hit it in the skull and The other one's right here. This one's down right here. Nice. Nice This was a trotting intestine shot pretty much quartering straight away from us as she was running away So that was a decent shot then we hit her on the run again, and then we hit low it looks like at 99 all right, guys, it looks like we found another red deer. This time we're actually recording. This is a six hard, so he has potential to be gold as well. And he's out there probably 150 yards out. We'll give a call and see if he comes in. There he is. He's a six hard, 138 to 207. I don't know. He might be gold. Oh, he's coming in close. All right, so once he's less than 60, we have to aim for the heart, even to hit him in the spine. So let's see what we can do here. Solid hit on him. Is it going to go down? Maybe not. That should help bring him down. All right, let's go over there and go take a look. Actually, let's go over here and see what we hit because I don't see how we didn't hit some kind of idols from that shot. Also, what is this track here? Oh, it looks like there was a male fallow deer out here. This is definitely a flesh hit. So maybe we hit just neck. Maybe we missed the neck bone. Have to go check that. Oh, he's down right here. So he actually went down pretty much right where I last saw him. Let's pick him up and see where we hit him. I don't know. Where, we, where do we hit him? How did we hit him almost in the neck? Look at that. We we're aiming pretty much on the bottom of the heart. Still got 100% integrity with two slugs on him, so that's pretty cool to know in the pelvis. So the reason it says vital hit, I think, is because it's attached to the spine. And I think that's why it ended up bringing him down, because otherwise I don't think he would have went down from that first hit with the 20 gauge. 
At least we got 1,271 cash for that and 184 XP. And another red deer. And this time at least we were recording. Alright, so I know we're trying to use the 20 gauge right now, but we have a fox out here. This fox is about 230, 240 yards out. We do have the 243 on us, so we'll zero in for 320. And see if we can make a shot on this fox. Can we go prone and still see it? Yes, we can. Come on. Went for a neck shoulder shot and dropped him. Alright, here's our fox. Let's pick him up and see where we hit him. Should have been like a 230 yard shot. 249 yards and it looks like we got shoulder blade and double lung on him so perfect shot it was a four easy and we got 1213 cash for it so um a total score of 546 all right we got a really nice fallow buck right over here he's right behind this little ridge right by this hay bale there's a bunch of females and i think there's one male right in the middle and we're going to try and do a sneak close enough to him pop up within 60 and go for a shot there he is Found him. Found him, found him, found him. He's 85 yards out. Why are we still moving? Come on, move, 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 move. There's a hay bale in my way. Got him! Hit him in the neck. It should bring him down, though. Why are we still moving, though? What is going on? And he's down right there. So the 20 gauge brought him down fairly quick. Considering I don't think we hit him that good. Let's take a look at him. If he was a little bit bigger, I probably would have used a 243 on him to make sure that he was going to be gold or diamond. But I don't think he was quite big enough. Another female over there. But let's pick him up. All right, so he scores 130, so he might have been on the very bottom edge of a gold fellow, but not close enough. Look at how high we ended up hitting him again. We hit him in the skull and jaw, and we were aiming pretty much for the heart again at 70 yards. It just shoots so high. At least it brought it down, though, and we got a pretty decent fallow deer. Kept our consecutive harvest at 100%, and now at least you guys know what the 20 gauge is like with slugs. Aim low, really low. Not just a little bit, a lot bit. Even if it's 50 yards away, aim for the heart, you're going to hit the spine. So, I mean, it's what it is, I guess. But I think that's going to be the end of this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. That's a monster. 159 to 213 score estimate, and 187 to 220 pounds on that buck. Let's go with that and let's pick him up. Oh my god! A 210 scoring diamond whitetail buck. I can't believe he was that big.